Hi guys, yes, ask a Carlos Irtate to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're gonna slow cook lamb in the instant pot but using the slow cooker feature and it's gonna cook low and slow and get just loaded with flavor. We're gonna use it to make sandwiches. I'm actually using this recipe so I can have it on hand during the week so we can make a quick lunch or a quick dinner. The kids can take it to work or school with them. It's just a delicious meal to have on hand, or you can serve it for dinner. It's just so good and so easy to make. Let's get started. So if you have a crock pot, you can definitely do this whole thing in the crock pot, but the Instant Pot has a slow cooker feature, so it's like an all-in-one. That's why I'm using that today. If you don't have an Instant Pot or a crock pot, you can do this low and slow in the oven, but the reason I'm using the Instant Pot is because it's perfect. You can start this the night before because it does take about 14 hours to cook, very nice and slow, and you don't have to you know, mess with it. You don't have to check it. You don't have to see if it's burning or anything like that. You just put everything in there and it cooks nice and slow right after you brown it. So the first step is to brown the lamb. I'm using a whole leg of lamb that's been cut into three portions. It is a lot of meat and it's also a big portion. Might not fit in your Instant Pot if you have a smaller one. I think I have the eight quart Instant Pot, but um, you can just use half of it. If You can use a lamb shoulder if you want or just two of the pieces. It is totally up to you. I started off by seasoning it with a little bit, a little drizzle of olive oil. I'm very careful with the oil because lamb does tend to be a fatty cut of meat. It usually has lots of fat in it, so I don't like to overdo it by adding extra oil. So a couple tablespoons of olive oil, and then I season all sides with a little bit of salt and pepper. And I also took some help from my air fryer. I found that browning meat in the air fryer just is just browns it perfectly and you save on a lot of mess. So I'm gonna use the Instant Pot and the air fryer to brown the lamb. I'm gonna put two pieces in the Instant Pot and one in the air fryer and I'm just gonna uh, brown them until they're nice and golden all around. That's gonna take about 20, 25 minutes or so. On the Instant Pot, use the saute feature and after about 10, 15 minutes, you can you know turn it so it can get nice and golden on all sides and with the air fryer, cook it for like 10 minutes, flip it over, and then brown it for another 10 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Then you're just gonna wanna put everything in the Instant Pot if, if they fit. Otherwise, use as many portions of meat as you have that fit in your Instant Pot. I kinda moved it around and made it fit. Then I also juice lots of lemons. You want lots of lemons in this recipe. I have about three quarters of a cup of lemon juice, but you could start off with half a cup if you don't want it too lemony. You can also substitute the lemon juice for some red wine vinegar, that works too. You just need a nice acid. It just goes so good with the lamb. I like to start with about half a teaspoon per pound of meat, so that's how you gauge it. And then later on you could always add more. Some black pepper, lots of black pepper, a pinch of crushed red pepper flakes for heat if you like them. Then I also like to add some ground dried coriander, about two heaping teaspoons, one heaping teaspoon of ground cumin, lots of grated garlic, you guys. I like to do about two tablespoons full. Just throw it in there. And then go ahead and add about two cups of water. I started with a little bit of water, then I ended up adding more later on. Two, two and a half cups is what you're gonna need. Put the lid on, set the machine to the slow cooker method for 14 hours. This needs a lot of time to cook. Then about halfway through, you can flip the meat around so that way it just sits in that gravy and that sauce that it's gonna release and, the, and all of those juices halfway through so that way it just absorbs throughout the meat. And once it's tender and falling off the bone, it's ready. Again, it takes about 14 hours, can take 15 hours. If you have less meat, it might take less. Just keep an eye on it. I like to start this the night before so it can cook slow and slow overnight. And then around lunchtime, it'll be ready. Once it's done cooking, you can serve it just like that with all that gravy. You can take that gravy and make a gravy with it by straining it and then just cooking a little bit of flour into it and some more seasonings. But I just like to take the meat out of the pot and put it in a big container and use about half of the sauce that's left over in the pot just to kind of flavor and keep the meat nice and moist. It stays fresh for a few days in the refrigerator and I like to serve it in over pitas with some tzatziki sauce. This just came out of the refrigerator. So I'm just heating a small pan over medium high heat and I'm just gonna warm some of the meat through. I'm gonna toast the bread and then I'm gonna make a nice little sandwich. So all it takes is a few minutes for the lamb to warm through. I like to get it slightly crispy on the bottom so there's some 
crispy, flavorful bits. And then I toast some pita bread, put a nice big dollop of tzatziki on top, and then lots of the shredded lamb on top of that. What's missing from this, which I wish I had, were some pickled red onions or even any kind of pickles would go great in this. I think I have some pepperoncini in here that I'll put once I'm done with the taste test. Mmm, so much flavor. The lamb is very tender. You can taste the lemon in it and all those warm spices that it's slow cooked in. It really absorbed all of that flavor. Zadiki is my favorite. Just give me a spoon and a big bowl. <laughs> It'll be done in no time. Great over pita bread. But if you're keeping it a little healthier, you can put it over salad, over cauliflower rice, over Mediterranean rice pilaf. So many options. Let me know how you're serving it in the comment section down below. The exact measurements are always on the website, DimitrisDishes.com. If you want to learn how to make homemade pita bread, click over here and I'll see you right over there. Yes, us.